The Lord said as he entered the world, Behold, I come to do your will, O God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Dear friends in Christ, it's a beautiful gift to be able to celebrate and pray uh, this great solemnity we have today, the, the solemnity of the Annunciation of the Lord, a very important day in, in the life of humanity and has great significance for all of us about our love for our Lord, His love for us, and the great example of Our Lady. And so we come uh, with, with grateful hearts in this difficult time, and we turn to the Lord and ask Him to continue to love us and to guide us. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. You alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who will that your word should take on the reality of human flesh, in the womb of the Virgin Mary, grant, we pray, that we who confess our Redeemer to be God and man may merit to become partakers even in his divine nature, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord spoke to Ahaz, saying, Ask for a sign from the Lord your God. Let it be deep as the netherworld or high as the sky. But Ahaz answered, I will not ask. I will not tempt the Lord. And Isaiah said, Listen, O house of David, is it not enough for you to weary people? Must you also weary my God? Therefore the Lord himself will give you this sign. The virgin shall be with child, and bear a son, and shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. The Word of the Lord. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Sacrifice or oblation you wish not, but ears open to obedience you gave me. Holocaust, your sin offerings, you sought not. Then said I, Behold, I come. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. In the written scroll it is prescribed for me. To do your will, O God, is my delight, and your law is within my heart. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. I announced your justice in the vast assembly. I did not strain, restrain my lips, as you, O Lord, know. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Your justice I kept not hid within my heart. Your faithfulness and your salvation I have spoken of. I have made no secret of your kindness and your truth in the vast assembly. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. 
A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, it is impossible that the blood of bulls and goats take away sins. For this reason, when Christ came into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but a body you prepared for me. In holocaust and sin offerings you took no delight. Then I said, As is written of me in the scroll, Behold, I come to do your will, O God. First, he says, sacrifices and offerings, holocausts and sin offerings, you neither desired nor delighted in. These are offered according to the law. Then he says, behold, I come to do your will. He takes away the first to establish the second. By this will, we have been consecrated through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace. The Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. And he will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? The angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. Behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So once again, we have this beautiful uh, feast day in the, in the middle of Lent, the, uh, the Annunciation of the Lord. And we should be very clear that this feast day is, is much more about Jesus than it is about Our Lady. It's much more about Jesus. It shows us uh, who God is. Um, It shows us his humility first, that God uh, would take on flesh. Um, That that, that God, who is reigning in in the heights and the mightiness of, of heaven, the God of gods, the Lord of lords, the King of kings, comes down to earth and becomes an embryo becomes an embryo, becomes so tiny and so small. It's an incredible uh, mystery to behold and to embrace, one that we should meditate on for our entire life. And so God is not a God to be feared. And and St. Therese, uh, in her littleness, speaks of this, that, you know, a God who who becomes so small uh, is not a God to be feared. And so we focus on the great humility of Jesus first. And secondly, it shows us uh, the great love that God has for humanity. That because of original sin, the, the gates of heaven were closed. So that in God's justice, the gates of heaven were, were closed. And, you know, the devil thought that, uh, that he had won and, and Jesus uh, and the Holy Spirit and the Father had a very different plan. And the plan would be that the the second person of the Trinity would be set down uh, to earth to become small and vulnerable, but also to to sacrifice himself um, and to sacrifice himself for the humanity of the world. And so uh, Jesus becomes vulnerable. and, And in our own vulnerability, we can connect with God in this beautiful way. He he walked the path that we are to walk. He taught us. He did so much to help us along the path to holiness, which brings happiness and blessedness. 
And finally, it tells Jesus tells us about the mercy of Jesus, that uh, he took on flesh so our love could grow. His sacred heart is poured out so we could have the heart of Jesus. So we can be large in love like Jesus is large in love and that we can inherit a kingdom. So God's mercy is, is so great and so abundant and it is shown in this great feast where um, we focus also on, on Mary. So what we focus on first in Our Lady is, is her receptivity of the Holy Spirit. So Mary uh, surrenders to God, surrenders to the will of God. Be it done unto me according to thy word, and the Holy Spirit enters her. So the first movement in the spiritual life is receptivity, that we receive God's love first. And that love changes us. That love changes us. And so we see the great model and example of Mary in her uh, receptivity and in her surrender. And so we're called each day to receive God ever more fully in the hopes that we may surrender ever more fully. And of course we struggle with that. Um, we sin. We, we have such great struggles in our lives. But don't give up. Uh, don't give up. Because Jesus is there with us, or Lady is there with us, and this feast day says, hey, uh, God's saying, hey, I think you're great. I, I love you. You're precious to me. So don't give up and keep drawing close to me. And, and, and Jesus in his tenderness and Mary in his intercession, in her intercession, will help us in that path. In this uh, solemnity, we will pray the creed together, and why don't we today pray the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. We place our needs before God, for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for Archbishop Gregory, for all those who lead the body of Christ here on earth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for an increase in faith in our world, that we may have the faith and the surrender um, and the receptivity of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray that we may have more grateful hearts for the gift of the incarnation of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for all those who are assisting those with the coronavirus, all nurses and doctors and scientists and first responders, that they may be kept safe from harm. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for all the sick and the suffering, especially those suffering from the coronavirus. We pray for those members of our families, of our parish, all our loved ones that are suffering on this day. Let the good spirit of consolation console them in their suffering. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for healing, for grace, for love in our lives. Let us pray to the Lord. <clears throat> and for all our beloved dead, those for whom this Mass is offered, those who have known to pray for them, that they may be living this day in the glory of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. We now pause to add your own personal intentions for this Mass in the silence of your hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, we thank you for hearing our prayers. This day, we ask the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary as we pray Hail Mary. Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
Pray now, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, <clears throat> the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. Be pleased, Almighty God, to accept your church's offering, that she who was aware that her beginnings lie in the incarnation of your only begotten Son, May rejoice to celebrate his mysteries on this solemnity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. Virgin Mary heard with faith that the Christ was to be born among men and for men's sake. By the overshadowing power of the Holy Spirit, lovingly she bore him in her immaculate womb. That the promises to the children of Israel might come about and the hope of nations be accomplished beyond all telling. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Wilton, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. 
graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. On you stay, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On you stay, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On you stay, qui tolis peccata mundi, non a nobis pace. O the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Encouraged to make an active spiritual communion where we profess our belief, belief in the Eucharist and the desire to receive the graces should we have been able to go to Mass in person. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and his name shall be called Emmanuel. Let us pray. Confirm in our minds the mysteries of the true faith, we pray, O Lord, so that confessing that he who is conceived by the Virgin Mary is true God and true man, we may, through the saving power of his resurrection, Merit to retain eternal joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. A couple of quick announcements. Uh, as you may have heard, Father Bill is doing well. He tested negative for the coronavirus, thanks be to God. And uh, he's still not feeling well, so he'll take a few more days of, of rest. Um, we have uh, on this Feast Day, I have posted a talk on Our Lady, so something else for you to to view today or, or through through the week. It's it's how Mary teaches us to be a disciple of Jesus. So how Mary, um, we want to mirror what Mary does in her in her discipleship, and so it's about a forty minute talk, and uh, I invite you to to look at that on the YouTube channel. It's already posted. Um, and uh, keep on keep posted on, on news and updates with us. If you go to the website, you can join Flocknote, and Flocknote is, is the most up-to-date communication 
that we have, and uh, not everyone is is technologically savvy. Um, but this is could not be the easiest thing. You just sign up, and it just goes to your email. I mean, it's it's so simple, and anyone can do it. Anyone can do it. So. Uh, for people in your family, maybe older folks, it'd be nice for them to get an email and, and to get updates. And it's really easy to go a web, to a website and watch mass. So for those of you who are younger, help the olders uh, to uh, to take advantage of some of the communication we have so that we can uh, be connected. Um, I'm going to start hearing confessions. I'm not quite sure how that's going to work out. I'm, I'm working it out right now, when we're going to do it, where we're going to do it. It's probably going to be outside. Um, I think I'm going to keep the church closed um, until some of the restrictions are lifted. I think it's safer for all of us, and I want to keep you safe, but uh, we still have adoration outside, and I'll find a spot to hear confessions outside. So uh, I'm working that out with a couple of uh, parishioners to make sure we have a good flow uh, for confessions and to figure out how it works. So that's another reason just to keep posted to flock note. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go forth in peace. Thanks be to God. The Immaculate Mary, your praises we sing. You reign now in splendor with Jesus our King. Ave, ave. Ave Maria, Ave, Ave Maria. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle, be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. 